I was born in San Francisco on January 5, 2001. My mom, Silvia Ortiz, became a single mom. When I was six months, she decided to let me go to Mexico because I got sick, me empache. And since my mom was a single mother, she couldn't take care of me. So she talked to my grandparents and they said, we want to meet her. So I went to Mexico, Guadalajara, Jalisco. My grandma's house is a two-floor house in which back then, two of my tias and two of my uncles lived upstairs. There are three big rooms. I am the third child, which means in Mexico, I have two siblings. I have a big brother and a big sister. Downstairs, one of my tios had a room. The other one was mine and my sister's, and the last one was my grandparents. My brother had to stay in the living room. I was in Mexico for nine years and 11 months. Those years and months were the best. I went to school and it was really fun and different. In Mexico, they sell lunch. They had a little place where you can buy your food. It was called La Cooperativa. I will go to the beach a lot. I will have so much fun. I had a lot of family. My grandma had 12 kids. Living in Mexico with your grandparents thinking that they're your real parents is the worst thing, especially when you find out that they're not your parents. It's heartbreaking. My grandpa was the best person. He was the best dad. He was the best grandpa. He will always buy me what I wanted. I was his little one, his chinita. He didn't only buy me what I wanted. He was the only one person who will show me that he actually loves me. He will give me good advice and make me feel like I can do many things in life. He will always tell me, you are going to do good in life. Then in 2009, my mom got a report that I had to come to United States. It was really hard because I was really used to being in Mexico with my family. Going to school in Mexico is really different because of the way that they teach. Teachers in Mexico are really strict because you have to wear a uniform and no phones are allowed and they will take it away. They don't care. Here, they're a little bit scared to confirm their kids. Living in California is really different because I was super used to going to parties, hearty bills, going to sleep late with my cousins, going out with my friends at night, knowing all my family. Jariperos are parties that are celebrated in ranches in which we have to wear traditional clothing. We dance a lot of traditional music and sometimes they make horses dance. Here in the United States, there are some Jariperos too. They are also known as American Rodeos. What I mean by knowing all my family I mean, since I grew up in Mexico, I got really used to them. Now coming to United States, everything has changed. I didn't know English. I didn't really understand the students, the TV. I just didn't like it. I was annoyed. But then I thought and I said to myself, I want my family to be proud of me. I started thinking that I wanted a better future with good opportunities, so I started paying attention. It was really hard that I didn't know my mom and my little sister, no one out here. It was really hard to say mama or something to my mom because I was really used to saying it to my grandma. It was really hard living from somewhere where you are used to getting home late, really late family parties, to somewhere that everybody knows you and with your family that you grew up with, to nothing, feeling lonely, not having that much freedom, not knowing anybody, only your family through Skype. It was really hard. I would cry almost every day. When I started fourth grade, it was okay. My first United States teacher spoke English and Spanish. She helped me a lot. Some students were nice, but some were really mean just because I didn't speak English. But as soon as they knew I was born here, they were really nice. But out of all my experiences, I have learned to always stay positive, and even through hard situations. Siempre con la frente en alto, Diana Ortiz.